like you now, do you do drugs sometimes? Me? Yeah, I take, I take drugs a little. Which one? Which one do you take a little? I take all. all. Oh, yeah, can you give me five? Your top five? I take Colorado. I take marijuana. I take Esque. And I take Italian. I smoke cigarettes too. I smoke cigarettes. Okay. I smoke uh, your jedi jedi. I'm not going to turn like this. Did you call the cops? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello beautiful people, how on our day today? It is the 22nd day in the month of January 2020 and there's me on the streets of Lagos again for Vox Pop Live on Pulse TV. This is your girl Rachel, MM Isaac. Yes, you can call me Ray Ray. And today the topic we're discussing is a very, very interesting and sensitive one. Today we're talking about something that affects the health of the Nigerian youth. We're talking about drug and substance abuse. So today we're asking whose fault is it? Is it as a result of peer pressure? Is it that the government is not doing enough to create awareness about it or is it that parents are lacking in educating their children about the dangers involved in drug abuse so what do you think the problem is really well I think the problem is foundational or fundamental it has a foundational problem okay. how do I mean by foundational problem I mean uh, you know the bedrock or the units of every society is the family so i think parental failure is a fundamental thing so fundamental reason why drugs why um youths of nowadays going to drugs abusing drugs taking a codeine does not concern government concern government that is not a government issue now it's just that most people today it's just habits even people that smoke, you take codeine, those things are things that they create within themselves and they feel it's good to their health. That is the reason why. Eh, not really. You know, it all depends on you, on what you want to choose your life for. And that's it. Yeah. You know, in this life, any time, any life that you want to live, you can live it on your own. Thank you, yourself. Yeah. Let me always talk about that. I can say it's the situation of Nigeria. You understand? I can't say it's about the government because we the people, we are the great government. You understand? But being smoking or acting of smoking, I, mean, I don't know how to put it. You understand? Like me now, you understand? Eh? Being selling drugs is the situation of the country. Okay. You understand? We have a good government eh? and a good security. You understand? They will know how to, you know how to handle that. You understand? The level at which people use drugs these days, the level at which young people use drugs these days is alarming. It is increasing by the day. What do you think is the cause of this? One, people take drugs today, they feel that when they take it, they reduce stress for them. Some take it because they see that the country is not giving them joy. So a lot of things make people to take drugs. You know, most people think a lot. And that's it, you know. So... The way they think a lot, they need to, to be high, and that's it. Okay. And if you are, you'll be okay, you forget your sorrow. And you know, most of all, you, if, if, they don't, if they don't hide, you know, they think, they think, they think oh. anyhow. And at the end of the day, if they think it's going to cause, you know, some, you know, some, you know, if it's a problem in their system, it, in their body. A lot of problem in their system. A lot of you can, you can, you can fall sick. Share this time, you know. Because in Nigeria now, you know, most people think they think a lot. Some people say that they want to buy a house now. Maybe at the end of the day, if they don't receive a lot, they will be thinking something else. So now taking the drugs will it make the alert come faster or what? Yes, <laughs> yes, and taking. You're taking drugs, marijuana, you're taking, you know, cocaine, or, you know, uh, yeah, you think faster, and what you want to come faster, and that's it. So what do you think the government can do? Because you're saying put hand, how do you think the government can put hand on it to stop this, or to change it, what it is now? Uh, first of all, is not... Only our, our government stands from the parents. When the parents know the way how they will take good care of their children, children at least from there it started before the government can put their 
efforts on it. How they can stop it is when we have a good security. You understand? We have a good security. This thing is coming from up. You understand? They know where it comes from. They know the source of these things. You understand? So if they wanted to stop, they will stop it. What the government should do is that they should empower the um, is he, uh, the security system of the country or uh, the police, the army, the soldiers, the all the armed forces or whatever forces in the country to begin to punish or to, if not by way of locking them up or giving them corporal punishment like beating, then maybe fining. When they are fined, if you are caught and they fine you 2,000, 5,000, you bail yourself. Next time, when you do it ten times, you know you are losing money. You are, so, so you know you are losing money. It will, it will be a curb in the system. The reason why because there was a certain time I heard that they said the government have banned selling codeine. You understand? But even now that people are still looking for one or two ways to buy it, so they should still fight, try harder to stop it. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. Do you do drugs sometimes? I don't do it, but I smoke. You don't do it. You smoke. What do you smoke? I smoke. You know Arizona. Arizona. Uh -uh. Yeah. You get different names. Yeah, I Arizona. I smoke Arizona. Okay. So now, as someone who smokes this, would you say that it's a good thing for people to smoke Arizona and SK? It depends on how you feel when you smoke it. Mm. You, how do you feel when you smoke it? When I smoke it, when I feel alright, I feel like I, you know, I meditate with it. I think, I think wiser. Mm. Yeah, I take, I take drug a little. Which one? Which one do you take a little? I take all. Oh. oh yeah, can you give me five? Your top five. I take Colorado. I take marijuana, I take SK, and I take Italian. I smoke cigarettes too. I smoke cigarettes. Okay. I smoke uh, your jedi jedi. All right, guys. Okay, so um, now, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you don't actually know that you can go online on Instagram to comment um, under any video that is put up. So apart from the fact that you can drop your comments here to be a part of the show or be a part of the conversation, you can go when it is up on social media and then be a part of the conversation as well. My name is Rachel M.M. Isaac and this is the much we can take on today's episode of Vox Pop Live on Pulse TV. I am signing out. Bye guys.